Hey, how's it going guys? It is COD Master here. It is July 6, 2017, 528 AM here in California. I got you looking at some live uh, seismograph stations here uh, with the main focus right now being uh, an area in Montana. Uh, you can see another earthquake coming into the seismograph stations here as we speak uh, near Helena, York Bridge, Montana. If you haven't heard, there was a 5.8 earthquake strike in this morning, early hours uh, in the state of Montana, waking up a lot of people out of bed. Uh, this earthquake was felt over a large area of the state and out of state as well. Um, you can see on this uh, map right here, these are seismographs uh, located throughout Yellowstone National Park and uh, surrounding areas. Um, you can see that 5.8 really showing up nicely across the park there. Um, getting back to that 5.8, um, you can see right here the felt map, or the uh, did you fill it, is in the orange, the shake map is in the yellow, and pager is green. Uh, but 5.8 is definitely a good sized earthquake at a depth of 13 kilometers. Um, did you feel it responses up here are pretty impressive a lot of reports all throughout the state of Montana uh, mostly being picked up in Helena uh, a couple reports there of a of some really strong shaking in Lincoln and Canyon Creek Montana um, so no doubt a 5.8 definitely um, a good sizable earthquake there 5.8 uh, can definitely do some good shaking. As you can see, some people reported uh, some strong shaking with some light damage uh, within the epicenter region. I wanted to show you guys again this 5.8 showing up. Um, pretty uh, spectacular on these Yellowstone seismographs here. Uh, at, if you follow this channel, uh, or maybe you're new to this channel make sure you like and subscribe but if you haven't heard Yellowstone National Park has been having a uh, earthquake swarm now for about three weeks um, this here is the latest generated report from uh, seismograph in uh, the park Yellowstone National Park that is um, yesterday and the day before it looked like the earthquake swarm was starting to calm down a little bit after three weeks of activity up there um, but about 11 o'clock prior to that 5.8, we started having a good shakeup um, with some increase in activity there. I noticed this before bed. I was going to do a video and I thought maybe, yeah, I'll catch it in the morning. But it looked like there was some build, build up of pressure prior to that 5.8 down here in Montana showing up. Um, so that's interesting. Whether it's uh, coincident or if it's related. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's related. Um, might make a video a little bit later in regards to that um, relation. But uh, no doubt three weeks of earthquake activity at Yellowstone I'm sure has its effects on surrounding areas. So 5.8 uh, also followed up by a 4.9. Check out, check out all these aftershocks here. 5.8 started all this. And then you had a 4.9, multiple threes, a couple more fours. So this is ongoing, as uh, you can see on the seismograph here. Uh, another earthquake coming into the uh, that area of Montana. So we'll have to keep an eye on this new activity up in Montana. There's another station I have pulled up in Montana as well, showing that earthquake coming in. Uh, once again, these here are live. But uh, yeah, if, if you were in the state of Montana, you definitely felt it. That's pretty crazy. 5.8 up there. A uh, large earthquake this morning. So I'm going to cut the video short now, but I will do a probably update, uh, update video a little bit later on. Uh, but for now, make sure you like and subscribe, guys. We'll keep an eye on the Yellowstone seismographs and see how this 5.8 affects... Uh, the ongoing earthquake swarm at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, as you can see, like I said before, there was an increase follow, uh, prior to that 5.8. And shortly thereafter, after the 5.8, uh, 
Uh, looks like it may have died down a tad bit. There was a couple spikes there. Um, but we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, we'll do an update video in uh, a little bit later on this afternoon. So once again, guys, subscribe, like, um, share the video if you can. And uh, comment below if you live in Montana and if you felt the earthquake. And uh, we'll appreciate the comments out there. Stay safe, guys.